Heather's homestead here, just put one of the pigs into the garden, and she, I wish I could show you the smirking face on my husband. <sighs> um, one, this little piggy already got out because the electric was not hooked up properly yet. The other one is too heavy for them to move, for my husband or my son to move by themselves. It's going to take two people. So, husband homesteader is now going to walk back and help Sonny homesteader <laughs> come over here and bring the other pig, which is much larger. Feeder pigs, but they're quite large already. She's inside of one, two, three, four, five, six strands of electric. No, you stay out. Six strands of electric, and hopefully it'll be enough to keep her in. She's already doing her job. I just hope the electric will keep her. Touch it, touch it, touch it. Anybody else out there want their animals to touch the electric? Oh, she's touching it, not... There you go. That got her. My tiller broke, as you can see down there, and so we just left it and decided to bring in nature's tillers to get the garden ready. Wish I would have done this a month ago, but we didn't have them until last week. This is Callie, our spotted gilt we're going to keep for breeding, hopefully. She's got a little bit of a snotty attitude, so we'll see. She's got beautiful colors, but she was not as big as her sister that we got. Her sister, in one of my previous videos, her sister was a spot as well, but she she was not spotted like this. She had like one little white spot on her side and the rest was all black. So this little piggy is much more showy, but not built as nice as her sister. So I'm hoping she will grow up a little bit and grow into a bigger pig. The next little piggy is coming. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh my word. We look like a bunch of rednecks around here, people. They are walking the pig on a leash and smacking its behind to get it to come over here. Oh. Now they picked him up. He's on his way. <laughs> Callie is like, hmm, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, don't throw him. Take that off of him. Take his little leash off of him. Whoever has the nerve to reach through and get it off of him and not get shocked. There you go. Now he needs to touch the fence. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. They just keep touching it. <laughs> it makes it more agree. <laughs> Got the ear that time. Cool. <laughs> they both want to. They want out. I think. Well, who's gonna watch them? Nobody's gonna watch them. Hopefully. Oh, I want to touch their nose to it. <laughs> right on his. <laughs> Butthole! Oh my god! <laughs> it's definitely not enough uh, jewels, I don't think. It's enough to let him know not to do it. Yeah, but he keeps Florida. doing it. He's all upset. He is all upset. Oh, he's tired out of breath. 
Because he's fat as a well, pig. Like I finished mowing because I have to go on these to come at 6 points. Look, I'm so out of breath, I can't even root. See, he's a fatty. It was hard to catch him. Well, whose bright idea was it to put a collar on him? Or a, or a rope to walk him? It worked for a couple of seconds. Look at him, he's all red. <laughs> I think he's tired. Okay, well, you have this whole garden to do. Can you get to doing something? I'm not paying you just to stand there. Oh. I'm going to finish my side. I'll finish the other side. I'll finish the other side. I'll finish the other side. I'll finish the I'm not, I, I wish he would have got shocked more, quite honestly, because him just keeping his butthole on the fence wasn't, that wasn't encouraging to me. That he would just keep touching it, you know? YouTube, I will post another video, maybe when they start working. Oh, well, he, he looks like he's getting ready to start. She's already rooting around. This is day one. We've got grass on all the outside, and then in the middle, well, the tiller stopped working. Oh, he's so tired. He needs to lay down. Look, he needs a break. Maybe that's part of the problem. One of the kids has a branch laying over the electric, which is grounding it out. So YouTube, I will post another video when he recovers from his traumatic walk over here, which wasn't very far. <laughs> and show you what they did with the place. Bye for now.